And just like that, it is the mid of 2022. I keep thinking it's still 2020. I'm not going to lie. It feels like the past two years did not exist. So I'm technically still my current age minus two years. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, with us in the studio today, we've got two very special ladies. Now, all my guests are very special. That's why I always call them special because they are. On my left, uh, we have Bella Kwan. Hi, Maggie. Hello. Hi. And um, on my right, your left. <laughs> is Kai Jean. Hi, hi Maggie. Hi. Okay, so um, I know we were supposed to do this episode like mm. months ago, like months ago, guys. Or Maybe I give you bit, uh, give you guys a bit of a backstory. Uh, it was the night before we were supposed to record, and I got a text that I got a close contact. So I told the girls, "I'm so sorry, we got to postpone this." Yep. From one postponement, I think that happened that became like ten postponements. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, because then Kai Jin got COVID, yeah, and then I got, I got COVID. COVID, and then Bella got COVID. <laughs> but here we are. So from three of us not having COVID Wait, before, yeah. to now we all, have all COVID. three can now already. <laughs> Okay, so today, obviously, I think the both of you, uh, to those of you who may not know, um, Bella and Kai Jean, uh, they are both business partners mm -hmm. and friends as well. Yes, mm -hmm. we are. And uh, I really, really wanted to understand, you know, what it's like working with a friend and uh, how is it, is it difficult to navigate business and friendship together? So that's why I thought about um, who to bring on the show and I thought the both of you would just just the perfect <laughs> duo because I mean just looking at the way you have built the brand um, mm -hmm. Handmade Heroes by the way guys go check it out I love their scrub they both know this <laughs> and um, yeah so tell me a little bit about yourself maybe we go with Kaijin first or you want Bella to go first oh yeah Bella go first <laughs> It was a test. Please, Bella, Bella, go for it. <laughs> so, um, I'm Bella. Should I say hi? Oh, to, like, you can, oh, no. you can. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> I'm Bella. So, I'm one of the co-founders of mm -hmm. Emmy Heroes. Um, and I manage the social media mm -hmm. and more of the creative side of Hemi Heroes. Um, whereas Chai Jin, my partner, she's more on the operations and business development. Mm. Yeah. So, aside of that, I do a little bit of content creating on the side. Yeah. Yeah. So... A bit of YouTube, a bit yeah. of everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just like trying everything out. <laughs> Always. She does everything. I don't she know. She juggles things. everything. I don't know even. And she can cook. Come on. Yes. Come on. Guys, if you don't know, you don't. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody knows Bella Kwan. But if you don't know, you just met her. She cooks so well. I mean, I've not. Not your food so before. well, but no. Joseph try, always I tells try. me, you know, <laughs> if only you can bake like Bella. No, I'm Whoa. serious. And then I say, I'm sorry, but you can invite her to our house to bake for us. <laughs> can, I can, cannot can. bake because <laughs> he watches like your video mm -hmm. of you cooking and then, wow, you see Bella make this again. I'm like, yeah, looks good. Sorry, I can't cook. <laughs> but yeah, what about you, Kai Jin? Tell us a bit uh, about yourself. I'm Chai Jin, so I'm. Oh, so it's uh, Chai Jin. Not yeah, Chai Jin. Chai Jin. I'm but sorry. It's I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Fine. I feel like a lot of people always call her Kai Jin. Oh. Yeah. And I'm, it's not like, no, it's but chai. no one corrected me. Okay, chai. sorry. It's Chai Chai Jin. Yeah. Okay. Yes, correct. So I'm the other partner for mm -hmm. Hemi Hero. So mm -hmm. I run the operations and business de yeah. development of yeah. the business. Yeah. And yeah. And you told me, like I saw yeah. you earlier today, yeah. that <laughs> before Handmade Heroes, you were doing something else. Do you mind sharing? That, oh yes, that, yes, that, yes, sure. That so, li I mean, that part of your life. So I was in corporate. Mm. I was an uh, executive assistant for a property developer. Mm. So what I used to do was I managed the office for mm -hmm. my boss. Yeah. Anything to do with the office, I was managing everything from scheduling meetings, from attending meetings for for yeah. him. Yeah. And to like running all the errands yeah. and meeting. Contractors, yeah. interior designs, uh, in interior designers, yeah. and things like that. So, wow. Yeah. She's and the yes girl. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so anything you want, I, I can, can do, do it for you. <laughs> I can do it for you. I think that just makes the both of you such a good duo because you've got your strength and of course Bella's oh got God, her yes. strength. But, like, but, but before that though, before we get there, <laughs> um, you did mention the transition from that job of yeah. yours corporate in the corporate world into what you are doing today that's with Handmade Heroes mm -hmm. how did that come about like how did the both of you ended up being you know business partners uh, yeah tell us the story um, it was I think every I believe everything has its time and place yeah it's definitely you know like we met each other at the right time mm -hmm. the right place um, and for me uh, so a little backstory about how Handmade Heroes started is um, I that we have another partner, mm -hmm. uh, which is the founder Lindsay of Hemi Heroes, mm -hmm. um, and she's a Singaporean. Yeah, 
And she had these really fabulous products, mm. um, which I thought that, you know, it could, it has so much potential in Malaysia. And I mean, definitely, um, it's a good product. Yeah. And I wanted to expand yes. it yeah. in, in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's why if you look at the brand, like yes. the brand, it says a product of Singapore. Yes. But now I, I, we have moved our production and R and D everything so, to Malaysia. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, so I met her and we started it, and it was a very low key kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd have no background mm-hmm. in business whatsoever. Um, I did music, mm-hmm. so I don't know from <laughs> how. Like, yeah, it's just sometimes you just gotta seize the opportunity. Yes, and you can't think like you're not competent enough. You just have to be like, try. Okay, yeah, just try, right? Yeah. So, but I knew that I it it's gonna be tough to do this all by myself for sure. because I was also juggling like content creating. Yeah. And at that time before- you were blogging? Were you blogging? Yes. Pre-pandemic also, there was a lot of uh, travels, yes. a lot of more like press yeah. trips. So I was always constantly away. Mm. Um, so when I did Hammy Heroes, it was very low key. It was more like testing the waters, not really full force, mm. just trying to, you know, like just like- See how it like, goes. Yeah, doing put my markets toes- then. Yeah, yeah, we did more. Uh, yeah, we did more markets like uh, uh, bazaars, okay. um, word of mouth, friends. Yes. No social media. Yeah, very, I think this was very, very Instagram low key. Instagram was a thing. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then I met Jean. I think that was like a couple of years already. I already knew yeah. her. Bef- uh, oh, okay. Before. I knew her since she was twenty one. Huh? Yeah, I think we were so like twenty I, or twenty one. Oh, I wow. attended her. <laughs> That's how I know her. So she was blogging at that time. Oh, yes. you vlog too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, a long time and ago. I think blogging so was ago. the Instagram then. It was. I, I did vlog, but I never posted. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so yeah. she had a blog. Oh, and blog, sorry, blog, blog. Yeah, she okay, was yeah. writing as well. That's yeah. how we met. And we would uh, always leave comments on like that. <laughs> yes, you know, yes, like that, that, that little that, that, that yeah. tab on the spot. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So that's how we actually met. And yeah. then she invited me to her 21st, was it 21st birthday? I think 21st oh, that's birthday. Okay. Yeah, I and still then, remember and she had like this really long hair, very curly. <laughs> she was wearing a puffy <laughs> dress with a tube top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was green. You know, is it? The, the, the trend was back then was yeah, the it's a people yes, yeah. yes, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I do remember that. Uh, yeah. So then that's how we became friends, actually. Wow, through so, blogging, like yeah. through a blog. Yeah, so nice. it's been like Those were 11, yeah. 11 years. And we kept yeah. in touch, even mm-hmm. though she went to Melbourne. I think there were for, there was for, for a short period of time, we kind of lost touch. Mm-hmm. But when she came back, I think we managed to like reconnect. Yeah. And I was telling her my struggles, um, Juggling having heroes and you know like doing everything yeah. on the side, yeah. and I just feel like I need an ally. Yeah, and that's when yeah. So she came in the picture and she was like, you know what, um, I think she she knows what she wants very clearly, and she knows that I think she in a way corporate you have had your fair <laughs> share of like the whole thing. So she then you came in. She did um, Hemi heroes like mm-hmm. part time while doing her full time yeah, in corporate. Yeah, yeah. So then this is how wow. it all started. Yeah. So you guys were friends before being business partners. Yeah, we friends were friends for a long for, time. For, yeah. for a long time. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. And how has it been like for you, Chai Jin? For like what? Like working with Bella so far. <laughs> it's, it's actually, we're going right into it. Yeah, we're going right into it. It's actually not as hard as what people think it is or did, like, do you, you know? d- like did you kind of like okay, do I want to get into a business with, with a, a friend? friend like before you um, made the decision. What I definitely your- had that thought. Mm. Um, and I'm sure people have told you before. It's just yeah. like, yeah, yeah. I thought about it a bit, like not very, how to say, I didn't think about it too much. Yeah. For me, it's like, yeah, I'm just doing into it. business with a friend. Yeah. But like, it was just people yeah. around me were like, are you sure? Mm. Like, are you mm. really sure you, you want to do business with your friend? Yeah. Like, it's going to go ugly, you know? Oh, yes, <laughs> I'm just yes, like, yes. why can't it be beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Need to be something yeah, like, negative. You know, like why, yes, why does it yes. have to be something negative? Like you know, it can be good. Yeah. Like why? Why do you? Why? Why does everything you do, with your friend has to be negative, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? You can swear. Yeah. <laughs> what they say. <laughs> I got yeah, into no, it. <laughs> I yes, we can swear. Yes, <laughs> expression is freedom. Yes, yeah. Yes. So I, I got into it. 
So, um, <laughs> so it cute. wasn't easy at the start of because course. I was juggling a corporate full-time yeah, job. Yeah. It was like 9 to 5. Yeah. I mm-hmm. lived all the way, like an hour away from work. Yeah. So, I was, every day I was commuting one hour to work. Mm. Getting in there by, you know, 9 yeah. something. Yeah. Before 10. Because yeah. like my boss comes in like yeah. a bit later. Then, you know, getting out like, mm-hmm. you know, before the traffic or sometimes like during traffic, you get stuck in traffic. Yeah, so sure. it's like driving there, coming back and then coming home, eating dinner, shower and then getting, you know, working yeah. on Hamid Heroes. Yeah. So it was quite tough yeah. for like a couple of months. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I came to a point where my mom, one day she just stopped me. She was like, you look very pale today. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, huh? It's like, mm, I think you maybe consider... Not to, to choose either oh, one, yeah. you know. Okay, so that was when you had to yeah. cross the bridge. Yeah, that's what I was like, I'll think about it. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was not easy at the point because yeah. it's like, oh no. Because at the point, you know how Asian parents, they're like, oh, do for fun only yeah. la, this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, just so, your hobby. Like. It's just your hobby, you know. Yeah, 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 but yeah. then you're like, no. Yeah. <laughs> so you made the decision to leave the corporate world yeah. for good. For good. And jump into, would you call it a startup at the time? Yes. Yeah. 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 A, startup. a startup. Yeah. yeah. At what? a time where, like, how say, the brand was slowly getting out there. Yeah. yeah. yeah we we were, didn't, we were literally living on our own expense for how long? Until we got a year. paid. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine. I'm still not getting paid. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, that's what it's like bootstrapping all the way. Right? Yeah, we like, would do everything on our own. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. And down to like packaging, everything? Everything, yeah. everything, everything on oh, our own. Wow. Everything. So, so, I'm curious, like, what was the. Handmade Heroes office like back in the days? Is it in your but bedroom? But there's no office. Okay. There's no office. Tell it's us, like us. my a parents' home. living room. Yeah. <laughs> Literally it became a home. warehouse. Mm-hmm. And freelance, like getting free places, you know, like studios to, to like yeah. borrowing studios yeah. to shoot. And yeah. Like, yeah. Bella's yeah, house was like the studio. <laughs> yeah, my the garden. Hey, you should have seen the lights. <laughs> yeah, the garden, the pool. And the, the background literally yeah. like this. <laughs> and then my mom was like, um... Uh, uh, it's time, you know, like to move this somewhere else. Yeah. Like, okay, just give me one more year. <laughs> <laughs> just one more year. Yeah. Twelve months. Maybe if I cover cloth, then you might think like, yeah. Not here. <laughs> oh my! I mean, I think it's really nice to hear how um, a brand like yours um, also had to start somewhere. I think it's easy for people to see or say, you know, because let's say like Bella has a certain amount of following, it's easy to build a business. But let's be honest. Oh no, honey. Wow. (laughs) Your number of follower does not really determine how good your business will be. At the end of the day, it's it's nice to have, but Mm -hmm. it's not. And I always make it to a point, recently we had a conversation um, with one of our staffs. Mm. So there was like... um, so she did kind of ask me like, oh, how come you don't promote like Hemi Heroes as your own? Ah, like, like, understand? Like as a, you know, like it's yours, influencer brand. Influence. Yeah. I said, I feel that I don't want people to have that impression to buy the brand because, because of what I say yeah. or like, um, I mean, there's definitely an influence there, mm-hmm. but I feel that I want them to genuinely buy it because they yeah. like the product and they enjoy what they're using. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes I will, of course, put the word out there, but you don't. Not shop. so much of a heavy um, branding on my mm-hmm. end. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just something I believe in. Yeah, yeah. It's just very different approach. Different approach yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a very different approach. So we had this conversation before as well. Yeah, I think. I, I think I can definitely relate to that, that mm-hmm. you want your brand and your product to be able to stand on its own yeah. without relying on, say, your popularity or fame, yeah. right? Because then you kind of like maybe blur the line up, people buying this because they truly enjoy it or because I yeah. am the ambassador or I'm the founder of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally understand. I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's, yeah, it's a good way. Good, like yeah. if just, you believe in it and you want to share, like mm-hmm. that's like totally fine. But yeah. it's just, it's just um, I guess everyone has a different, different approach of doing things. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's a very refreshing take, I would say. Yeah, because uh, definitely having the following that you have on social makes things easy, but it's nice mm-hmm. to see your take uh, mm-hmm. It's a bit refreshing. Yeah. Okay. Um, my gosh, I have so many questions I wanted to ask, but let's gonna I'm gonna dive into the topic of friendship right now. Mm-hmm. I was thanks for sharing the backstory of <laughs> Handmade Heroes. No problem. So this is where it may get spicy. I'm just kidding, huh? No. <laughs> okay, maybe <Spilty>. let's <laughs> um maybe tell me um 
maybe Chai Jin, you can mm-hmm. tell me what kind of friend Bella is, and Bella can do the same <laughs> with Chai Jin. Okay, Bella is my ride or die. Oh, like for me, it's like if I have any problems, I can just call her straight away. Mm. Or I can rock up anytime. She will drop off. Like she will drop her things. She will reschedule her whatever that she's holding back. Yes. Just to be like, what's up? Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hear you. I hear yeah. you. What mm-hmm. about you, Bella? Um. So she's like a sister. Mm. Yeah. Um. I. I mean, one thing about like I am very very grateful for is I have very good friends. I have to say that. Mm. Yeah. So Jin is like an elder sister yeah. I never had. Because mm. I am the eldest okay, like, yes, in yes, my yes, family. Yes. Same, same, same. And, um, and I think coming from like, uh, I'd say, um, a se- like family separated since I was young. Mm-hmm. I always long for that care yeah. that I don't get from my, yeah. like, mm, sometimes I wish I could get. Yeah. Um, so Jin is like the mom also. <laughs> yeah. I think somebody has to be a mom. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. know, in the friendship. And she has a nickname called Mama Jin. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's the very... And she has a lot of empathy towards mm. um, people. Like, like yeah. I see, I'm just like, you have too, way too much empathy for like this person, <laughs> but okay, you do you. Because I think I'm a bit more of a re- realist. Yes. Like, I, it's just right or wrong. There's yes. no... You don't take but, bullshit. Yeah, but yeah. she's more of a... You gotta understand, mm. you know. She's very understandable, mm. which sometimes I'm like, no, like how can a person <laughs> be like that? Like it's yes, just maybe because I'm not like that. Yeah. But when I see her, sometimes it's good to like to see from her perspective mm. and to learn in the way that you know there's still like there's different sides of everything, and yeah. she does it very well. Oh, so yeah, she's I think a, like we have like a really good balance. She has a yeah, right. It pure, sounds like it. Really she has sounds like a right pure heart, lah. Oh, thanks. It really, really <laughs> sounds like it. I mean, I have not met you too many times, but every time I do have conversation with you, like you said, I think what you said about her nurturing yeah, nature, yeah. it just shows. Oh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the way you speak and stuff. But I'm sure, like with every growth, like in friendship, comes hardships mm-hmm. and hard conversations yeah. as mm-hmm. well. And I'm sure it's you know uh, no less for the both of you. Mm-hmm. I'm sure in your your journey of being friends. I'm pretty sure they are difficult conversations that the both of you have to yeah. mm. have. Maybe if you don't mind sharing, you know, without going into details because I get it's personal. Mm-hmm, like yeah. how how did, did the both of you kind of overcome that? And like who is usually the initiator and who's the one that says sorry or, you know, yeah, tell me. I think the both of us say sorry to each other. Mm. Yeah. It's like, there's no like, I'm going to say, you're not going to say. Yeah. Yeah. So usually when something like, there's something between us. Mm-hmm. We always talk it out mm-hmm. and we don't sleep on it. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. No dwelling. Yeah, okay. no dwelling. We'll yeah. be like, you know what? Let's settle it now. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. Before we move on with our like, like, you know. Okay, sorry. Okay. Okay, what do you want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'd say, I think Jin is better at addressing problems. Um, I'm, still a, I'm still learning... I don't like like direct con. I'm not very confront, but I feel that it doesn't have to be confrontational if yeah. you use the right words That's true. or you use the right approach. Um, it's just how you communicate, mm. and I think communication is really an art. It is. It's something that you learn. For like sure. it's not just like that. You know? Like until now, I'm still learning how to communicate. Mm. I'm trying to be a better communicator. <laughs> uh, I think I've. You definitely improve over the years. <laughs> I definitely see Mama, over Mama the Jean years. has said because yeah, I'm yeah. more of a self sabotaging like right. person. Like, give me an example. If okay, uh, I'm more of like if you don't care about if I feel you don't care about me, yeah, I, I won't reach out. I won't be mm. like I will be like okay, she's not talking to me. Means this, 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 this. Like then it's only it just spirals. Yeah, I yeah. spiral a lot, yeah. but I think over the years I've learned how to control that and then mm. but especially when it comes to friendship just take it very lightly yeah. if yeah. anything just ask for sure or just tell never don't, assume always yeah ask. don't self-sabotage yeah. don't be like oh she never asked me out yeah. so I'm gonna and then like, assume she doesn't care yeah and just yeah. like shut somebody off mm. yeah shutting people down is like I am number one so you do <laughs> <laughs> yeah to be honest like yeah. you still are. like yeah, I have yeah. no problem cutting people off mm-hmm. But at one point, I'm just going to tell myself like, you know, you have to, you have to 
really know the difference. For sure. That, yeah. Some, they, there are some people that you should just cut off. Yes, yes. For sure. Yes. We, mm-hmm. we think we all have experience. But yeah. then, I totally I'm understand. still learning. <laughs> yeah. Like, you, do you, are you the kind to cut people She's off? She's too nice. Oh. <laughs> I will cut, but then I will still have like a little string there. I feel like yeah, I'm a bit yeah. of both yeah. of you, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like just I can. To, like, make sure like, like, is she really okay? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I don't completely cut you. I cut until the end. She got a bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Um, okay, I think the whole shutting people off is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate. Mm. Um, I've been shut off before. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, it hurts. Mm-hmm. Especially when, uh, let's say, with a friendship, what, what happened? Like, what did I do wrong? Mm. And, like, the person receiving on the receiving end mm. also spiral. Mm. Um, so so no one made the no first move. One. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, uh, some of my past friendship just yeah. never came to be mm-hmm. to never kind of like reconciled because, yeah. you know, like yeah. you said, one shut off, the other one don't also also reach don't out. reach out. Yeah. So yeah. We, maybe we need a bit of a mama jing in us to to have <laughs> a bit like, of empathy. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. What's going on? Actually, it's true. A simple hello, a simple check in without even addressing anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it makes a ton of a difference. Yes, I think sometimes it's also just putting your ego aside. Yeah, and just <sighs> reaching out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for yes. me, sometimes I feel like I have no problem in doing that. Mm. I'm willing to let myself go. Yeah, just so I can. I know, I know. Let myself go so I can cater to you. Or like just to make sure that, you know, like, hey, what's up? I, I'm very yeah. curious, right? Uh, Chai, sorry, I keep going with Chai Jin. <laughs> it's Chai okay. Jin. Just call Jin. Yeah, can I just, just call, call me Jin? Jin. Yeah, Jin. 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 Yeah. Jin. Yes, yeah. Jin. So, yeah, Jin, I'm curious, like, what's your upbringing like? Are your parents like that? My mom is like that. Ah, oh, okay. My mm. mom, 100%, even until now. Wow. Since young, she always tell me, like, put yourself in people's shoes. Mm. it's like if you do that to someone if you say that to someone if you hurt someone how would you feel if it's you mm. so there's something that she always makes sure you know yeah and I think we now know that uh, a lot of how we are today uh, stems from a lot of our childhood yeah. so like when you say you do t- have tendency to shut people off actually me too mm-hmm. because I feel like for me it's you just want to get hurt. Yes. It's not It's not Correct. like you want to hurt the exactly. person. You don't want to hurt yourself. Sometimes unintentionally, you will end up hurting. Like, I think in the end, everybody gets hurt. For sure. So it's, it's almost like a survivor's instinct. Yes. Oh my Self-mechanism, yeah. a Flight. self-defense. What's that? Flight, Flight. or fight. Or fight. Yeah. yeah. You fight. You just put up a wall yeah. so you don't come and hurt me. So it's so interesting to also see how the way we are brought up mm-hmm. and the way we are is not just... What's the word? I want to say manifest. I'll just use the word manifest. <laughs> <laughs> Manifested in relationship, friendship, and and every part of our life. Mm-hmm. Even with work too, actually. Yeah. I'm sure it, it, it has happened before. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, yeah, so what, what was the biggest fight you guys had? And how did... I feel like she's so nice. I, feel I don't like think we had big fights before. Yeah. Not really. I, mean, I, don't think like, I wouldn't want it to happen. No, yeah, 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 no, no thank God. But, but I mean... <laughs> We or like don't. disagreement. Let's Tiny not squabbles fight. here and there for yeah. sure. But never something never. really bad that happens. That's so no, bad. no, Thank it's God. not men. Like you can't be. Usually, if it. and it doesn't take more than twenty four hours. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. No, it's like two hours <laughs> <laughs> because we want to eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't like we don't let it get to that stage. Mm, that's, that's very good. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. And and you would say to to for that to happen, communication is key. Yeah, what definitely. Else? What else? Communication is key and understanding how the person is like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I from from the from the start, like yeah. I know Bella, like you know, we have to we have to communicate mm. with each other. We I I know her style of communication yeah. and I know how to reach out to her yeah. in different ways. Yeah. yeah. So if something you cannot go too direct, you must go like like that. Yes, yes, yes. So actually. I know how to, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, like, you know get to Bella from yeah. like here to here. If someone cannot, I'll just let her chill out. Yeah. After a few days you get back to her, she'll be in her f- right frame of mind and then you can talk to her again Mm. yeah would you agree with that yeah for sure okay Um, definitely patience she needs her space also towards each other Mm, I like that okay let's not talk about the both of your friendship because I think it's so beautiful I got nothing to (laughs) nothing to bring out tea (laughs) but anyway no that's a good thing by the way but yeah um, actually my next question really is have you experienced any mm, I think toxic is a strong word but Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go there Mm -hmm. Uh, any toxic friendship before and if yes what was that like for you i definitely have mm. not sure if jin has jin, i have you as have? well mm. and like, how did you manage it i'm curious I was so young back then because it was um 
friend that I really cared for. Mm-hmm. So she didn't come from a really a bit complicated yep. family background. Yep. So I was always there for her. Yeah. So we would have a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We would do all the silly things together back mm-hmm. in Melbourne and back in KL. So just one day she just shut me off mm-hmm. without like, you know. Ghosted you. Ghosted me. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I was just like, hey, hey, why? But next thing you know, she was hanging out with like other people who are mm. a different league. Mm. How to say? So it's like, um, how do I say it? It's hurtful to see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure. It was hurtful and I was like, what did I do wrong? That's yeah, like, I don't think like, I did anything It makes wrong. you feel like you're not good enough. Yeah, yeah like, maybe feel like I was like, am I because I'm not fun enough now or uh, I'm not good enough or like, why? You yeah. know? Yeah. So. And yeah. you never. Really? I didn't reach out because she really built the wall very high up. Mm. And I wasn't sure like what was the problem. Yeah. But it was very apparent as to who she wanted to hang out with more. And you just let it be. be the and I was just like, you know what? I don't jive with people. That The, the yeah. people that she's hanging out with, they're not my vibe. Yeah. So I'm happy to just cut this off. Yeah. Because why do I want to force myself into a friendship like that? Yeah. yeah. Do you, you're going you're gonna to end up being not comfortable. You're going to end yeah. up like not being Not yourself. being able to be yourself. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want that kind of friendships. Yeah. yeah. No, thank but you. But it's good that you had that awareness so young because I'm not going to lie, when I was younger, yeah, no. I tried so hard to fit into all kinds of circles because I, I have that people pleaser tendency mm-hmm. in me. So I always try to try to fit into this group, mm-hmm. try to fit into that group. And at some point, I felt like I lost myself. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, like, I have experienced that as well. I think like, we, I think we all, have. Everyone all has. Us have. Yeah, it's like, part of growing It's like up. just yeah. banging the wall yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to your... In fact, I think you should go through that a little. Yeah, yes, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Then, then, you, then only you'll you be know. able to appreciate the kind of friendship that is truly for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Right? What about Agreed. you? Um, definitely had my fair share of um, toxicity in yeah. terms of friendship. Not gonna like say who, who, for who. Sure, but no. We are not naming um, names. <clears throat> I have... I have people who just made me feel, you know, like people who just constantly gets liked you. For sure. And you know the fact that, okay, say pers- like this incident happened yeah. and, you know, you try to talk it out with the person and then they make they convince you that actually it's your problem and it's always your fault. Mm, it's and, never theirs. Yeah, and you got the drama and stuff. Mm. But the fact that this happened and... And they just can't, like, being friends for so long, they just can't put down their ego or, like, or just be true to themselves, not mm-hmm. even to you, like, mm-hmm. to themselves and just be, like, to admit on what, like, they did. Mm-hmm. But but then they keep gaslighting you and then mm-hmm. they guess, like, the people around you and mm-hmm. then make you feel like you are the the problem. The bad yeah. person. And, and it was really hard for me also because it came... F- so I went to church for a while. Yeah. And and like it's very hard because like the people around it was also like they were also from church. Mm. And you know you, you know what I mean like I don't want to be in that environment that I suddenly feel that I am the like people are maybe they're I pretty sure they're not looking yeah. at me in that way but yeah. suddenly I feel like I'm being seen in that that way. light. Yeah, yeah, in that light. Yeah. It then only until like the truth came out and and then I'm like Okay, but I'm kind of glad I'm not part of anything anymore. Yeah, I just yeah. like sort of moved on. Yeah. yeah. It's just the guess. I feel like the guess lighting yeah. is I can't Get accept. It. Yeah. yeah. It is unfortunately something that that, that happens yeah. in all kinds of relationships. Yeah. With our parents, with yeah, friendship, yeah. in relationship. Yeah. And you know what? I feel like a lot of people can't. Yeah can't pick it up that it's gaslighting yeah and they don't they're not even it aware. took me so long to learn and yeah, then I, I yeah, yeah like since i was younger also it's always is it my problem yeah, okay oh so okay it's my problem yeah, like, i think i'm you know like yeah. it's me probably mm-hmm. it's always like am i not good enough or like yeah. did i say something wrong yeah um then i realized i just decided that you know it's not my problem mm. i've not hurt anybody <laughs> harm anybody i'm just gonna not even address anything and just chow. Like, just, okay, bye. <laughs> Block the <delete>. lid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I think in... I think we've had our fair shares of friendships yeah. in our lives. Some people are just better off without that closure. Yes. Because yeah, unfortunately, yeah. not You don't need the closure. Yeah, some no, friendship just, just cannot have closure. And 
I mean, it's hard. Yeah. I mean, I've mm-hmm. had my non-closure friendships before and for months and months, I'm like, maybe what if, maybe if I reach out one more time, maybe yeah. if I try no. again. Yeah. But sometimes it's just not your, yeah. like, not, not, not my, you. Not and I believe you also you. grow out of certain friendships. Like, sure. And it's fine. Yeah. Yes. And I mean, I also, I mean, Actually, I have, yeah, not, not all friendship end because it's toxic. No. Yeah, let's no. talk about that. Um, mm. I have... I mean, a friend also, like, I feel like we just grew apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just different, different phase in life yeah. and just, I guess different, we do things very differently mm-hmm. and maybe he or she just doesn't seem to understand, Yeah, say why I did certain things or mm-hmm. how I did certain things or they might not agree mm-hmm. and they can't agree and mm-hmm. suddenly I feel like I can't even have like my own space. Like there's no boundary. It's just whatever you do, you gotta explain yourself. Ah, uh, why? You know? Why you? Would yeah. you say example? it's like you? You feel like you're constantly being judged by your decisions, right? And having to explain yourself. Yes, and then your then it then suddenly turns out to be like then suddenly they will discuss among themselves, and then then mm. it makes you feel like mm. why why can't you just like talk to tell me? me you know? yeah. So it's just like a lot of all these, and then I just feel like sometimes friendship. Certain friendships just doesn't serve you anymore. Yeah. And you just have to like... Let it go. Say goodbye, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, thanks for sharing, by the way. And I think sometimes in friendship, there is this unspoken struggle. Like, I think I've experienced this before. I, I think I'll speak from my own experience that I get jealous and I envy my friend for doing better than me. This was mm. when I was much younger. Mm. But at the same time, I love that friend of mm. mine. But at the same time, I have this very strong feeling of, say, envy or like jealousy because they've got their their life figured out. And sometimes that is a bit hard to navigate. Hmm. Because how do you say that to to someone? Yeah. Right? Like, I'm so envious of you. Envious of you. And um, I won't say I had that need to compete, but... I believe it is something that a lot of people struggle with because I think recently, you know, got the NGL linger. The, oh, yeah. oh yeah. I got a lot about friendship and oh, saying yeah. that, um, you oh, know. Oh my I, God, trust me. Oh yeah, sis. Oh, we can ask so many. So I many. Up what happened to you, you and who, who? Uh, like, uh, yes, yes, correct. You know? I got so many. How come you're not talking to this person yeah. anymore? Why don't you it's, post it's about this person anymore? It's crazy how people are so sharp. Yeah, and they, you don't think actually, they know, but they know. They know. <laughs> they know you better than you. You're correct. Yourself. That's true. <laughs> but again, I think these are people. I mean, we're talking about people who follow our lives. Yeah, sometimes and, a bit scary. Hey, sometimes it is. It is. <laughs> I. What did you get? Do you and Bella quarrel? Huh? This is Bella? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, checking like, how many. Bella. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh. uh, with your business, do you guys like coral in here? I mean, like, you got your answers on. here. Oh, yeah. yeah, your answer is here. Yes, we do sometimes. I think it's normal to quarrel. It's mm-hmm. so normal. And it's healthy to mm-hmm. quarrel yeah. because then, let's be honest, like one person, two, two person can't be 100% the same. Yeah. yeah. You have different values. And yeah, different everyone upbringing. has their days, you know. Yeah. yeah. You're only human, guys. Yeah. yeah. So all the you NGL yeah. askers, your answers are right <laughs> here. I mean, they fight in the in the best healthy way. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. I I I have a two business hours and then we're done. Yeah. We, want, we need to eat. <laughs> my wife maybe sometimes one two days. I mean, I fight yeah. with my yeah. my partner, my boyfriend. We work together, and yeah. it's not easy. Mm. It's not easy having to. I mean, even if the person is not your boyfriend or your partner or your friend, you would still have squabbles and mm-hmm. disagreements with yeah. your. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoever that you're working but with. But I feel right? like it's, it's even harder when it comes to... Because like you're romantically involved. And how do you separate the, the romance? Let me put my iPad down. Sunday is another whole new topic. I'm interviewing Maggie now. <laughs> uh, I think we had our fair share of struggles. But I think our personality to begin with is very different. I think mm. I'm a bit of the both of you. I've mm. got my Mama Jin moment. Yeah. But I also have the moment where I'm like a bit more... Mm, no no why is it like this you know what I mean yeah. and then there's Joseph who's also you know we are quite similar uh, so mm. when positive and positive sometimes it, it can yeah. Yeah. clash yeah. because the both of you balance each other out so I think there are moments when both of us 
can't balance each other out. So we just have to step away from that mm. that that situation. Yeah. Mm. So that's what we do. Um, of course, with couples therapy helps. Yeah. Uh, the, there's still struggle here and there, but I think the most important really is drawing the line. Mm-hmm. Like I think because startups are startups, sometimes you do everything. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't have. You are finance department. You are HR. No, it's it's really the both of us doing things together from the start. Like knowing when to fill each other's shoes when needed. Yes. Even though yes, like Bella does social media and she does creatives, but you know, if sometimes she's not there, she needs me to step up, step up mm. for her, or step in for her. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah, I'll be happy too. If Love not, sometimes it. same right wise person. I'll be like, Correct. Bella, I need you. Yeah. She's like, okay, like when? You know, Correct. Tell me. Yeah. So in the very beginning, I think it, we did struggle with that, but I think over the years. As our relationship grew, mm-hmm. along with the struggles, uh, our business relationship also improved. Like, mm. let's draw a line. I think you're angry right now. I'm not going to talk to you. Or like, bro, it's 12 a.m. I'm your girlfriend. Don't talk to me about work. Mm, so we yeah. have to really draw the line really clear. Can't help it lah. Sometimes some, an idea come to hit. It's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. like hey, hey, you know what? Yeah, then, then he sometimes reminds me, baby, it's 2 a.m. Yeah. I need to sleep. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow during working hours. Yeah. So really have to draw yeah, the line, yeah. especially yeah. when we live together. Mm. Yeah. During the MCO was the hardest, I'm not going to lie. Like everything was just meshed into oh, one yeah. one space, one timeline, one everything. It, it was, was like tough. every single detail sometimes like annoy mm. the shit out of you. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. So yeah, I hope I answered your question. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. It's very insightful. <laughs> but yeah, I think the whole, uh, the whole um, perspective perception about people saying don't get into business with a friend with your partner Mm. I don't think it's universally applied you can't just say that to someone without knowing their dynamic without understanding their intention without knowing how much they want this and make it work it's really a matter of how much you want it to work yeah Yeah, and also one thing I feel is like don't keep tap and keep don't calculate so much Mm. don't take it personally yeah because if you're going to start counting like, oh, I do less, you do more, you do less, I do more. Yeah. Like, I Actually, do, yes, yeah, correct, correct. I think even in relationships, yeah. if you yeah. keep keeping Keep tabs, tabs. Yeah. I think it consumes you exactly. that, no, you did this, so I will not do this for you. How can you yeah. say that to me yeah. before? As long it's as at the hard. end of the year, you guys have like the same common goal. Mm. So and work towards work, that. Work towards it. Yeah. yeah. Plus that's, minus, plus minus, 100%. Yeah. And really, I guess, having the empathy to understand when one makes a mistake or mm. like overstep or like maybe say hurtful things because when things get stressful yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm like shut so up. something like that happened like recently oh, okay. so oh, like, yeah. I'm still in the honeymoon phase so <laughs> oh, I yeah? haven't what? I'm, I haven't um, oh no I oh, mean no. we're talking about relationships oh, oh, tell okay. me tell so, me like, friendship okay. so recently I kind of like snap at Bella so, <laughs> did you? I did a bit. You did? And then all you did, she was so calm. calm. She was so calm. She just called me, but she's like, next time, don't talk to me like that, okay? (laughs) I was like, like, I can't remember now. (laughs) Then I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, okay. (laughs) Oh, so cute. So cute. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, please don't talk to me like that. Like, like, the next time. And then she was like, are you okay? (laughs) Yeah, I'm like, you know, it's like, it's okay. It's just another bad day. Mm, Yeah. Yeah, and... I think we all have bad days. Uh. Mm. Like, you know, we are human. We have so much emotion. <laughs> I, I totally like, forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, no, when yeah. it all happened, I was like, shit. Are you like, <laughs> oh my God, like, Jin, what's wrong with you today, you know? Are you the kind that forgets things easily? Like, Quite. It's, yeah? Yeah. Because I'm like that. If you say something Especially hurtful, something bad. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's also how we... we it's a... I believe it's a way we protect ourselves also. We don't... That's true. We tend to not forget... But forget. We tend to not remember, remember the bad things that happen to us just so it's it easier I yeah. feel it's less hurtful yeah I think yeah. I have the ten- tendency but we're not that. avoid like but not we don't avoid, avoid it. it yeah if that makes I think sense. in the memory it's just not very vivid yeah if I have to dig sure I remember yeah, like you like, said oh. just now what did I do that <laughs> oh yeah I did <laughs> so a bit of that um, yeah. yeah I'm like that as well so and also okay wait I, I wanna I have a question because recently I've encountered something in my workplace mm-hmm. that made me really struggle as a leader. The both of you are leaders in yeah. your in your team. Mm-hmm. Um, would you say your way of leading your team is very different or the both of you are quite in sync? Because starting a team and managing them is not easy. Yeah, uh, we are still learning. Yeah, um, I feel we, we are still learning, man. What was the biggest struggle you had? 
biggest struggle at the moment now. It's like, how to say, making sure that there's a balance at work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Making sure that... How do you be a boss and then be, be a, a friend? friend? Yeah. Because we're not in that. There's no hierarchy in, yeah. there's no in hierarchy our workplace. In our right. workplace so we're we trying always, to... We always open up the the floor to yeah. our, for our team to always come and approach us. Yeah. I think I will surely come to you. I <laughs> can, 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 anytime. <laughs> not so, in my team, so can. Because <laughs> you really do have that. that. Yeah. So it's... it's, it's Nowadays, it's not easy to. it's not easy to. I feel it's like not easy to actually. It's not easy to, to manage a team, yeah. and yeah. especially when okay. You know, I understand. Like when you manage team, dealing with the positive like things is so easy. But super like dealing with like maybe something like you don't like. Mm-hmm. Like we're still trying to navigate. Like yeah. how do you tell them? You know? Yeah, yeah. And it's so weird. Like you're. Thinking sometimes like will I offend them or hurt? Like you know, like you. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I get, I get what you're saying. But they're like, would they hate me for? Yeah, then yeah. will they then do a bad job after? Yeah, yeah. I mean these are the yeah. thoughts of we're still learning. Yeah, in that really. Yeah. I think for me recently, uh, my friend Bell, Bell. from Singapore. Yes, uh, she, Belly she, Jelly Welly. So we I were traveling, then she was like, "Hey, do you? If your staff does a bad job, yeah. like, do you like?" How do you tell her? You know, like she asked me that and I'm like, mm, I think you just need to be honest, but don't, I mean, don't be, don't be mean about it, yeah, but just, just be honest. Yeah, just say that I think. Like, just give like constructive feedback. Have you ever thought of doing it like this, 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 this? I think it can be better. Yes, yeah. I think always give yeah. them solution. Don't cri- criticize them. Yeah. yeah. Give them like, a feedback that it's it's useful so they yeah. feel like they can learn something from yeah. it as well. Because I think the intention here is to make them better, right? Yeah. Make them of perform course. better, do something better. And I think uh, I learned the sandwich method. Mm. What's the sandwich? You say something good and you say the bad thing and then you Oh my god, this is what I do for good. customer service. <laughs> So, so yes, apply She's it. so pro at it. I'm learning it from her. She's just like, wait, I reply. Okay. So yes, um, so Sometimes we get customers that, you know, they might, might not be very happy with the purchase yeah. or whatever. Mm. Yeah, I always tell you, you always have to have empathy. Always apologize for <laughs> whatever you do. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Like, I understand, I understand. And then, then after you say, unfortunately, you know, this happened. And I feel like customers also, they just want to be hurt. Yes. Yeah. That's, they want that's to be it. acknowledged <laughs> yeah, they, well. It's not like they want anything from us. It's just... Yeah. They just want to be, like you said, acknowledged. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Cool. So. Ah, man. Yeah, I think the whole leadership is a whole different conversation altogether. Yeah, and I should I like would, to add on with, yeah. like, let's say if the, your team member yeah. does something wrong. Sometimes how I would see it is to actually work backwards. Mm, is it because okay. I gave the wrong directive? Mm. Is it because, like, as a leader, I she misunderstood, like, our... Our yes. like you know like the brief yeah the, the brief direction. the instructions mm-hmm. yeah. the direction so I also like work back when and say like oh maybe it was me mm. yeah. then I'll try to work on myself yeah. and like try to be try to explain it better the next sure. round yeah. yeah um so I recently not recently like I think about a month ago I I finally admitted to the amount of ego I have in myself uh it's something that that kind of have been consuming me in a lot of things like I will not say sorry first until the person says sorry and like. I get defensive. Oh my God, was that you? Yeah. And then I get so defensive if someone <laughs> call me out, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you were wrong. Yeah, no, yeah. What, what, what am I wrong? What, what, what? You know, <laughs> like, like I had, I mean, I'm exaggerating, mm-hmm. but just to give you guys a bit of a context. So I think recently I had a bit of a, what's the word? Uh, a, a pr- not problem, like a bit of a roadblock with mm-hmm. one of my colleague and basically just not delivering and like, um, not doing a good job, okay, mm-hmm. in essence. So I asked myself, how can I approach this? Because I think my first emotion was anger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like, how can this happen? How many times already? Yeah. And then I went to, because I remember what my therapist told me, always be curious what, how you feel this way. So mm-hmm. then I went backwards, like what you yeah. said. Mm-hmm. Okay, wait. My ego is speaking, so let's come back to, to ground. Mm-hmm. Is it because... I didn't give a proper direction. Mm-hmm. So same yeah. thing. I think that really helped yes. me. Yep. Because sure. if I've kind of like weed out all these things and still is a problem means, okay, 
you need to do a better job. Yeah. You need to step up. Yeah. And how can I help you step up? How can I support yeah. you? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. we have this thing in the office where if you if you if you're given a task mm-hmm. and you have no idea how to actually start or like maybe you're stuck halfway, mm-hmm. don't be shy to ask. Yeah. Ask yeah. anybody. Correct. Yeah. Because you don't know what you don't know. And yeah. we won't know if you don't say you don't mm. know. Seriously, like adding to that, uh, I realize because sometimes I'm a bit of a perfectionist mm. and I know what I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how things I want to be done. Yeah. Um, and then I always forget, like, you know, um, the, your staff that's like coming to work with you, yeah. it's not like they already know what you need or what you want. Yes, you have actually. to tell them. Yeah. And sometimes they're also learning. Correct. They're not, they didn't come in to just be like, okay, this is, yeah, this is everything is done for you. Correct. Sometimes they, they want to be better as well. Yeah. And I always, for, like, sometimes I forget and then I'll be like, it's such an easy thing. How yes, come like yes, they, yes. they don't understand? Then yeah. I ask myself like, but they didn't start off from this background. They didn't come in like having all the experiences. Mm, yep. It's really s- something that then you have to realize, oh, as a leader, because I'm also very used to working on my own yes. before having a team. Yes. So you, this is how you learn, I guess. Like you're okay. now working with others you're not working alone mm-hmm. you can't just expect things to be done your way yeah. because there's always I guess you gotta g- give and take um if you can assist them always yeah. just try yeah guide them, yeah. Guide them guide along them. the way and help them see how we see things as well yeah yeah, yeah. I really like that and um I, I think just from this conversation I can kind of see what kind of uh, business partner and uh, leader the both of you are and I think the both of you really really balance each other <laughs> in the best way possible yeah how many years has it been guys curious seven huh really yeah. that's my relationship duration also <laughs> <laughs> seven eight since 2015 seven, eight. Yes. Yeah, around, around that, that yeah. oh wow so long oh my god time good job guys when you're not and counting congrats. it time feels flies. like yesterday but yes. when you actually properly count mm-hmm. yeah been so long my yeah God. it's like the business has grown we have grown we have seen each other grown yeah so it's actually really nice huh? yeah that's that's um that's all part of life and as business owners and leaders to also be aware about where you could have done better because mm-hmm. i think it's easy to always blame or like mm. to put the yeah. put the thing on to others that's one thing I've learned as well. That it's not always others. It's it's both ways. Mm-hmm. Where you could have done better and your teammate as well. And I think it's just all about being accountable with your work and what mm-hmm. you do. And I think that I think can also be applied in friendship. So how can we hold ourselves accountable? Like, especially when it's something very tough and you know you've made a mistake. How How do you approach that accountability do you have any experience? Because for me, saying sorry is the hardest thing to do. I have. I have sort of screwed up a friendship. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think. But okay. So it's a very chicken and egg kind of thing. Because yeah. it takes two hands to clap. For sure. But I know. I mean, the only thing I can do is reach out, try my best. Mm. And, you know, like. Try to work things. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out. I mean. Too bad. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing Correct. you can do and sometimes um, instead of just asking why the other person did this or that mm-hmm. like I said the whole self-sabotage mm-hmm. is I will ask myself like is it me? Mm-hmm. yeah and if the person doesn't reach out doesn't matter doesn't mean like you can't because mm-hmm. I used to be like more of the ego like you know that ego yeah, yeah, like yeah. oh if the person's not going to reach out I'm not going to reach out yeah. like why why do I need to be like the t- taking the first step yeah um, but then if you think about it what does it cost to reach out it costs nothing, nothing. To lose. yeah you have nothing to lose and and I feel like you will feel so much better to take the first step and then you realize like hey it's actually not that bad yeah and um even if it doesn't work out, you sleep better knowing that you tried. Yeah, I think that story kind of brought me back to a previous friendship I had. In my case, I reached out so many times already. Yeah. And it keeps happening. Same. Like, and I got tired and I'm mm-hmm. like, I've tried my yeah. best. And even when we met in person, it almost like I was invincible. Invincible. I don't know what, invisible. That was invisible. Not invincible, but mm-hmm. like in, like I don't I don't exist. Yeah. 
it's so very hurtful. Uh. It I can totally understand. I, yeah. cr- I think I didn't cry right away, but like <laughs> thinking back, it really hurt me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, sometimes friendships are tough, man. Mm. I feel like sometimes friendships are harder than relationships. Yeah. I don't know. That's just how I feel. And when friendships end, it's just as painful. You will have your grieving moments. Yeah, but then when you move on, ah, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I think we have come to the end of the podcast. Almost, we still have a couple more questions, actually. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay, I think this one, a lot of your audience and your followers would really, really appreciate. Um, any advice for our listeners who are considering starting a business with a friend, a lover, or a family member, anything that they should prepare, what kind of conversation they should have, um, yeah, based on your personal experience. I think if you're planning to start a business with your friend, it's good to have a few conversations going with that friend first mm. to lay out there like, how, how am I like when I'm doing business? Mm. How are you like when you do business? Because mm. Bella knows that when I am in my business mode, mm. my business mode is here. But mm. past five, I'm your friend. <laughs> I can be your silly, goofy friend already. Mm. But before that, I like really work no bullshit. Work. You know? yeah. it's work is work. So you must lay it out there and try. And when you have each, you can gauge each other, mm-hmm. then you'll be better, la, I mm. feel. Yeah. Mm. So you don't be like, oh shit, like, we had some disagreement later and later we are going out for makan. Like, it's yeah. going to be awkward. Yeah. Yeah. No man, it's not, no. Gonna, it's not awkward if yeah, you make, you it, make awkward. it awkward. Yeah. 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 It's not yeah. awkward at all. Yeah. 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 yeah, Like, get it, get, get, you know, get it I out I think I'll take that yeah. as my advice for today and start, you know, practicing it. It will only be awkward if you make it awkward. No, seriously. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's it, true, it right? Is. After a hard conversation and after that, it's like, how <sighs> Just now was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, only if you make it awkward. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Open your heart. It won't yeah. be awkward. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about you, Bella? Um, I feel like if you want to start a business with, let's not just say friend, like just Anyone. a person, yeah. you really need to ask yourself, like, how well do you know the person? You know, do you like, think you need to know the person very well inside out? I feel like, yes, you mm. need to at least know your, where your values are. Mm. I think values are very important. Mm. Um, that holds, like, I think value actually holds relationships. Yeah, for and sure. principles. Yeah. And principles. So if, like, our values are not aligned, it's very hard. Because mm. we won't share the same, we won't have, like, say, same vision or, you know, for the sure. same things. Mm-hmm. Um, even how, like, we want to be a leader or, like, things like that. It's, it's, it's going to be very different. Mm. So for me, values are very important. Mm. So if you ever want to, like, start, working with somebody you really need to dig lay deep the, mm-hmm. lay the cards yeah, yeah like lay the out there yeah. like, if you, you have like, the same values like. I'd say you pretty much like safe la. Yeah. Mm. I, at least 50% the there's battle. something going on already mm. yeah. like principles your values and what is your end goal for the business you like some people they're just very money driven some people, they are more like, mm, I'm going to chill. I just want the brand to grow. Mm-hmm. Like, where are you? Like, where do you guys stand? It's mm-hmm. just all these conversations. And um, yeah. do you mind doing, like, the grunt work? Mm. Uh, because, like, when we first started also, I, I was very honest with Jane. I said, you know, sometimes I can't be there 100% because I have uh, my content, like, creation yeah. going on. And you're away. Sometimes I'll be away. Are you okay to, like, be alone mm. and just do like certain things and mm. she she said no it's fine mm. but of course it's really give and take yeah mm-hmm. so don't be an ass also like, like <laughs> yeah. just uh-huh. yeah you have to appreciate you know your partner yeah. Yeah. for whatever they are doing um so yeah like don't be calculative mm-hmm. that's quite I, important don't be really don't be calculative if you know that your partner is somewhat struggling step in step up just yeah, do it together. Yeah. What you said yeah. just now is don't be like when I talked about different different departments. Just step in when your partner needs yeah. you. I think yeah. that's really even like your don't partner don't ask you. You can tell you know. You can offer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and don't dwell seriously. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think with that we we somewhat wrap up, but we, I always end the episode with three questions <laughs> that is now the staple until I find better questions to ask. Okay, <laughs> uh, Jin always 
want Bella to start first. So Jin will start first. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your question? So the first question is, what are you currently head over heels for? I know. <laughs> what? Stranger okay. Things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> today. Yay! You know what? You know what? Today's episode, a bit special. They will answer for the other person. <laughs> uh, for the first question <clears throat> only, la, because the other question will be hard to answer for. Is that correct? Stranger Things? Uh, yeah, and interior design. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, you just move into a new space. Yes, you really yeah. like, I you can know? relate. Yeah, I'm a bit crazy with my Pinterest yeah, searching. Oh my God, my you, you also move like into a new place. Yeah, we, Congratulations. We it's hey, a new season. Yeah. I'm moving in, I don't know when, la, see, la, when my reno finished. Hey, really take your time. <laughs> yeah, I There's know. No Actually, any tips for those of you who are moving? Take your time. Uh. What take do you mean time, to if you have no dining table, don't it's okay, right? Don't stress, yes. <laughs> See um, on the floor, la. Picnic style. <laughs> really don't stress yourself. Yeah, okay. It's not worth it. I know, I know. Because eventually, you know you will settle down. It's just the the duration, is, if, if you're going to rush it, or you're just going to take a longer time. Mm-hmm. Either so, way, you are in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's fine. Like, just okay. chill out. Okay. If you don't clean today, you're not, you're not getting like that cupboard clean. It's okay. Uh, that off. one, move not, on. Not applicable in my household. <laughs> Joseph, I tell you, funny story. Can is I, he, quick one, Bella? Can I? Freak? Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm asking the showrunner, Bella, if I can oh. add this in. We have time. So, he's a clean freak. Are you serious? Oh my God, I'm going crazy. So, sorry, Joseph. You can't tell. I remember, oh my God, yeah, you can't, you can't tell a lot of things about him, right? <laughs> when I first, when we first moved into this condo that we're living in, you know, when you move in, you got like boxes and boxes yeah, of stuff. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. And usually it takes me a week to settle. I have like four big boxes. A week? Four? It's very fast. Fast, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah. it's fast. Mm. I'm He's, like sitting on... He <laughs> sat me down and Go we everything. went through it everything in four hours because he can't stand what? the sight of the box oh there. My God. It's good and bad. Things get done. After that, I mean, during the process, I was frustrated. It's so I'm like, tiring. So tiring. But after that, I'm like, okay, la, fine. It's not a bad thing. So yeah. yes, I struggle with that. Gosh. Uh, wow. Next episode, we can talk about that. Okay. Um... What is Bella head over heels for? <laughs> you what are you head over heels for now? <laughs> <laughs> Cooking. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. I know her YouTube. She's been updating oh, her YouTube. Yes, oh yes, yes, guys. Uh, Bella yes. started her YouTube not channel. Not really head over heels. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not head over heels, but it's like one of her focus. Okay, so far. Yeah, I try to. Yeah, yeah. But a bit what? of cooking. Um, yeah, a lot of cooking stuff, lah. That really like. I you head know. over heels I, for cooking? I've been, yeah, been buying like pots oh, and yes, pans. Oh yes, I have seen and, that. Oh my God, I, uh, yeah, then, I just, still remember when she moved, she's like, oh, I need to go customs to go and collect my, my pasta. I was like, I Why? watched her vlog, she, she yeah, bought my knife. Big box. <laughs> I bought knives. I was like, what, your knife? Go plate la. <laughs> <laughs> so is that you your know, final I answer? I was very into, yeah, like, um, oh wow, I'm, kitchen utensils and like for a while, la, for a while, but now I think I'm, Almost over already. Like the face. This is the first time someone on a pod has said, I'm head over heels for cooking. I love it. (laughs) Second question. Jin, best or worst advice that you have ever received? I think for you, maybe best advice. Worst advice is the one to tell me, I think you shouldn't enter into a business with your friend. It's not going to work out at all. Mm. And what about the best advice that you've gotten? From your mom? From... Someone special in your life. If you really want it, then just do it. Simple. Life's simple. Don't complicate it, yeah. guys. Yeah. If you really it's true. want it, then just do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, Bella? Or, uh, can it be, like, it can be every, anything? It can be anything. Like, maybe a statement that you've heard. Doesn't I guess to- when I'm at this age, it's just normal. I mean, it's normal that people will tell you, I mean, I'm 31 this year, so mm-hmm. people will tell you, oh, you should get married, but... Oh, I just had this conversation yeah. with Maggie. We literally now. have that. And I'm now. just like... Well, you're not gonna maintain the marriage from me, so <laughs> you know, just take it easy, lah. Shut the front yeah. door. Yeah. Don't yeah. tell me. I'm telling Maggie. Oh, like, like you should freeze your eggs. Oh my <gasps> god! <Yeah. laughs> we had this conversation just yeah. now. Yeah. 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 She was getting coffee. That's and kind of intense, but okay. Yeah, like, yeah. is your checklist yeah. not my? Do you know how much man? it is to freeze eggs? If you pay for it, figure, I you will know. consider. <laughs> five figure and not confirm yeah. the egg can actually be yeah. used later on. Eh. Come on, I don't have that money. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just everyone has different priorities in their life. I understand if you want to have kids or you, I don't know, like, I just, it's just different. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I just had this conversation with Joseph yeah. as well. And I feel like people shouldn't be pressured by the whole 
I don't know that the society the, 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 the timeline like, yeah, the timeline this, the process yeah. and this age you must be this Correct. and this yeah. age you must have one kid two kid get married or da, 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 yeah. da, da, da. like no I'm gonna be jumping like that yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go like that so funny like literally today before I came to, 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 to the studio Joseph was just telling me you know oh I met a friend yesterday and you know the mom actually had her when she was 38 wow uh, okay. so then he, he, he what he said after kind of got me smiling yeah. like he said you know, it's nice to know back in the days, there are people who also took their time. Yeah, Because course, it's so yeah. such a thing that people, uh, my, our parents' generation, the earlier the better. My mm. mom got me when she was, she was 23. Yeah. So when he said that, I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to take my time. And he's like, yeah, me too. I yeah. don't want to rush. I, I don't no, want a kid yeah, right seriously. now. Okay. I understand why pe- Okay, I understand, I understand why some people, you know, they're concerned because I know there are a mm. lot of infertility mm. issues yes. nowadays. Yes. And it's, I mean, you can't avoid it. For sure. Um, but again, I don't want to put a timeline on something just because I feel like something bad w- might happen. If I don't do it. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And then, I don't know. It's just not my style. So I totally yeah. get it. I think we are all on the same page, the <laughs> yeah. three of us. Yeah, so sure. stop yeah. asking us to freeze yeah. our eggs. Stop <laughs> asking us in our NGL. Yeah. <laughs> NGL. Yeah. NGL. Yeah. 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 Do you not plan to get married? No, not yet. <laughs> there you go. Your answer's right here. Okay, one last one, ladies. Three words to describe your life right now. Three words. Okay, one go more. So can lah. Go ahead. Living life on the fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Uh, what about you, Bella? Um, I'd say uncertainty. Mm-hmm. I am facing a little bit of that. Okay. I think during my COVID like oh yeah, you just week, recovered. I had a bit of a identity crisis. Oh no! But I think it's I just need to like get it out of my system. Yeah, Process just slowly. It, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but just content. Okay. Um, and ec- excited at the same time. Uh. I love that uncertainty and content can yeah coexist. It can. Yeah, it can, I love it can that. because yeah. you just gotta look. In like Correct. what you have, you know. Correct. And you know, Correct. today it's very funny. I walk. I always. I don't know. Sometimes I always have this when I walk through like a supermarket, okay. or you know, just like like even yesterday I was driving and then I saw um, just like these. I think they're probably in their mid twenties. Like uh, okay. yeah, they were uh, yeah, they were collecting trash. Ah, okay. But they look so happy, you know. Like and there's nothing. Mm. I feel like they're just really living their best life, and you know, like. There's, you know, people always have this, like, um, um, they say you, you need to do well to mm-hmm. in order to thrive or like be happy. Mm-hmm. It does like your job needs to be this or that. No, I feel like it's just how you feel about yourself and like how you want to live your life. And like even like people on the street, like they're just selling like food yeah. and like sometimes when I pass by, they look so like. I think I really get what you Chill. mean. You get, it's like, at you the end of the day, it's... And then annoying. your problems become so small. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, dude, I'm in my car, driving. In aircon, comfortable. Yeah, you know why they're like that? It's because they know they are enough. Yeah. So they know like, what is in, yeah. is, they know what yeah. is enough so for themselves. I'm just like, they if they can be so like... And they're so passionate about their jobs. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Why am I being... Why do I sometimes... I mean, yes, it's it's okay to feel insecure. It's okay to like feel that you want to achieve certain things, but you have not achieved yet. It's mm-hmm. okay to feel that um, uh, it sucks. Yeah. But, you know, when you see other people, when I see other people, I'm like... They give you perspective. Yeah, like you, sa- like you said, it makes your problem feel like smaller. Mm-hmm. Like you just feel like, oh, actually, it's okay. You know what? Yeah. Just work towards that. But just feel enough like for yeah. now like. yeah. almost like a little reminder whenever you feel like shit yeah, I think yeah. it's nice to have yeah. but yeah thanks for sharing <laughs> um, with that ladies I just want to say thank you so much for being on the show thanks thank for having us. us I really enjoyed our conversation <laughs> we will bring this <laughs> offline okay yes, yes. Sure. Um, I think you know if anything the both of you have really proved the naysayers wrong Seven years of building Handmade Heroes to what it is today from your mother's living room, your mother asking you to get out and move <laughs> things away. It's not just away. us also because we have a very, very wonderful and supportive yeah. other partner. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Your, your co-partner yeah. in yeah. Singapore. Yeah, Lindsay, I think yeah. how you guys made it work despite the distance and everything, I mm-hmm. think it's really, really inspiring. And also, um, um, 
now after speaking to you, the values the both of you hold individually and together as a team, mm-hmm. I think that's something that I think I I really admire. So Aww. thanks for sharing. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, and you guys, please go check out Handmade Heroes. I really love the bakuchol oil <laughs> and the super duper nourishing scrub. I told them, yes, I yeah. tell them every the single time scrub. I see them. The, the rose yeah. scrub, I finished that. I don't know how many tops already. But anyway, uh, with that, um, where can you find out Handmade Heroes? The Instagram is... Uh, you can find us on our website. Website, so it's www.handmadeheroes.my or you can look us up on Shopee. Okay, yeah. and it's Chai Jean on yes. Instagram and Bella Kwan on Instagram. And you don't need to know my name because it's <laughs> on the show. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I look forward to the next episode with you guys. And if you've got anything you want to share and let them know, feel free to... And don't NGL them. <laughs> Just DM them or drop yeah. in the comments down below, okay? I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to fall head over heels for yourself first and always. And take care and stay COVID-free. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. A bit impossible now. <laughs>